Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about Axis Camera, how you can find Axis Camera on the network. It's pretty easy. You can come to the axis.com. It's the Axis Communications webpage and you look for IP utility. That's one way you can find your camera. So with this utility, you just click on it. Click here on free downloads. Look for the latest version. Download again and just click on the file and here you go pretty easy it's like like a standalone application it just opens up and finds your camera on the network as you can see i have my camera with ip address 192.168.0.52 it's not the default ip address because i have a router here in my network that gives the camera an ip address as soon as i connect my camera to the network it gets an ip from the router right if you don't have a router in your network to give your camera an IP address, the camera is going to use the default one, which is 192.168.0.90, okay? It's not my case here. I have the IP address of the camera. It's a Axis P1365 Mark II. So I just double click on the camera and here you go. It opens a web browser. And the first time that I log into the camera, when I try to log into the camera, I need to set up a password. Let me just input a password here and repeat it. And it says that it's a weak password. I don't care, it's just for testing. I click here, create login. It warns me that this password is considered weak. Anyway, I'm just clicking here to continue. Here it asks for basic information about frequency, uh, capture mode, PTZ mode. I just click next. Again, for a date and time, and also for DHCP server, I'm gonna use DHCP server. Just click next again. Wait for the camera to load. And now I need to ch change the orientation here. I have the camera here on my desk. So I need to click and change from zero degrees to 180, just to flip the image. Here we go, not upside down anymore. My Avengers are happy now. So oh, I have my camera working. So that, that's the way you can do it, the easiest way you can do it, right? And you can also use this IP device manager, Access device manager, right? This one is different. It's just based on a server client application. You install the, manage, uh, the device manager as a server, and this is the client version. As you can see, it finds my camera on the network. The status is okay. Here's the IP address, camera model, the P1365 Mark II, firmware version, and every information that I need here. And as you can see, I have another camera, but there is a red X, which means the camera is not available right now, but the camera was available before. That's why I have here, the server has information about the camera. So basically I have a database of the cameras that were connected to my system before. Every time I connect a new camera, it goes to the database and I have the information here, okay? So sometimes a little bit confusing because if you just refresh here, trying to look for a new device, it's not really doing that. It's just reloading the device that I have here already on the database, on the server, okay? This is basically a client connecting to a server and the server has this information. So. Be careful with this one. It's just reloading the cameras here. To add the new camera, you need to click here on this add device. And then the software, software is going to look, look for the new cameras on the network. And when it finds it, you can click on the camera and add to the server database. That's the way that works. As long as I have the cameras already here, it will not find any camera anymore. I already have them here, okay? And that's the way you can find your cameras on a network, Axis cameras, okay? So that's all for today. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. I see you in the next one.